We're back, we're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we're gonna to be talking about some nets. Like solid flags, cookies, silks, nets come in all different shapes and sizes. Today we'll be looking at a common size known as a two by three net because one side measures two feet wide and the other side measures at three feet long. If you guys haven't seen my scrims episode, I highly recommend going back and checking it out as scrims and nets are basically the exact same thing and they too are also color coded. Green is a single, red is a double, and this one tends to vary depending on what company you buy it from, but blue is typically a triple. And by single, double, triple, again, we're identifying the stops in light which are measured a half a stop at a time. Single green is a half stop, double red is one full stop, a triple is a stop and a half, Two double reds are two full stops, also known as a home run. And something I didn't really mention in my scrims episode is that whenever you have uh, two and a half stops, it's also known as a grand slam, uh, just to go above the home run uh, thing. So if you have, say, uh, two doubles and a single, uh, that's a grand slam. If you have a triple and a double, that's a grand slam. Uh, if you have, let's say, two triples put together, there's kind of a joke around the industry that's basically called wrong light. You'll also notice that each net is not completely framed on all four sides, and that's done on purpose so that when you're throwing one of these in front of a light, you don't get a harsh shadow, you get more of a gradual fade effect. And just to show as an example, here's the side with the frame splashing against the wall, but if we flip it around, you can see that it becomes a much more softer edge. Also, a trick that I read out of a book is that let's say you have a single and a double, but the soft edge that you have is starting to become a harder edge. You can actually stagger the nets on top of each other with a couple of grip clips and get more of a feathered, tapered look uh, to that edge that we were talking about earlier. That way, in camera, it's not distracting, it's more subtle. One other thing that I'll add is that whenever you're putting a net or some sort of diffusion in front of a light, you never want to do it at an angle like a 45 or anything like that. Uh, especially with these nets, if you put them at an angle, you're kind of getting a cross between a single and a double or a double and a triple. You want to make sure that it's actually completely parallel with the light that's shining through it. But that is all that I have for you guys today. If you liked today's episode, please let me know in the comment section below. You can also follow me on my Twitter right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time right here on Grip Tips. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs>